Hello everyone, my name is Holly and welcome back to the channel. Recently, as in the last week, we have been getting some really exciting announcements, specifically from Orbit Books. I've been keeping an eye on things with them because this is typically um, the time of year where we get all the cover reveals and acquisition announcements and they did not disappoint. They announced some amazing new fantasy titles, a new video game novel, which shocked me, I'll be honest. So let's take a look at what they had to say. So just a little backstory because I think it definitely ties into the first announcement Orbit Books recently published Ruination, which is the very first full-length uh, League of Legends novel. It's a fantastic book for anyone new to the universe or has been a League fan for years. I highly recommend it. Well, funnily enough, I had mentioned in my review that I hoped that this is just a start to more video game lore in the form of standalone novels, and I was right. They announced on October 11th, actually the day that I'm filming this, that we are getting a cyberpunk 2077 novel, which is very exciting. The developers have been working very hard on that game to make it not only better as it wasn't exactly what they promised us at launch, but they have been taking the story, adding depth to it, especially with the newly released anime, which sounds like it's doing very well. The anime was in Netflix's global top 10 chart for two consecutive weeks upon release, so it's a weird coincidence that we are now getting a novel in that universe. Speaking of coincidence, that's literally the title. Cyberpunk 2077, no coincidence. I am a little sus. Either I've big brained their intentions or it's just like a snowball into this accidentally. Also, CD Projekt Red, who created Cyberpunk, announced um, a sequel recently. So what a time to be alive. This novel is written by acclaimed Polish science fiction writer and screenwriter Rafal Kosik. That's very exciting. And what he has written here in the Cyberpunk 2077 universe is about a group of strangers as they discover that the dangers of Night City are all too real. It kind of sounds like the actual video game plot, but I'm very interested to see how this author makes this world his own. We do have quite quite a bit of a wait for this one as it won't release until next August, so about a year from now, but we can just play the game while we wait with all of its new updates as it becomes better and better. Alrighty, moving on to the next big news, let me start by saying that Orbit has acquired two brand new epic fantasy series, which I am super excited about, so let's talk about the first one. Now, I don't know if you saw this headline, I actually saw the author herself announce it first on Twitter with screenshots from the website called The Bookseller, and that is Andrea Stewart, the author of the Drowning Empire series, has a new epic fantasy series in the works. The first book's title hasn't been announced yet, but the series itself is called The Gods Below. We don't know too many details yet as this one won't be published until 2024, a very long wait, but we do know that it is going to take place in a ravaged world with ancient magic. Um, it will involve characters who can harness magic through gemstones, which really reminds me of, actually, it reminds me of a lot of things. But more specifically, it reminds me of the book Child of a Mad God by R.A. Salvatore, where the magic is stored in crystals, and the main character literally has to embed herself with these crystals to be able to use the magic. I highly recommend it. Anyways, it sounds really cool. We do have a little bit of a synopsis. It follows Hakura, a young woman searching for her missing sister and who will do anything to find her, even lead a rebellion against the gods themselves. So it sounds like we might have like a god war on our hands, possibly. All speculation, of course. I absolutely adore this author. I think she's a freaking genius. She has gorgeous writing. Um, her writing style is fluid and engaging and it makes you feel like you're right alongside the characters. And I I have no doubt um, in my mind that this new series is going to be a hit next year, or 2024 I should say, sorry. Getting ahead of myself. Now all we have to do is wait for the title and cover reveal, which I'm really excited for. So the future of fantasy looks very bright because the next book that was recently announced from Orbit sounds really cool. In fact, you might recognize the author, Gareth Hanrahan, the author of the Black Iron Legacy series. The first book being The Gutter Prayer, if that uh, jogs your memory a little bit better. He's coming out with a new series starting next year in May with the first book and we do have a cover and a title for this one and that is The Sword Defiant which will be part of a planned trilogy. Now I really want to read the blurb because it just like fits it all together very well. The sword cares not who it cuts. Sounds like something Arya 
Stark would say. It's stated here that it's set in a world of dark myth and dangerous prophecy, of the Sword Defiant launches an epic tale of daring warriors, living weapons, and bloodthirsty vengeance. And we do have an official synopsis as well. We follow Aelfric, a very classic fantasy name, and many years ago he saved the world with his companions in capturing the villain's cursed weapons along with their city. Now present day, darkness is looming once again, so Elfric has to gather his companions once again who are now not so full of adventure or they have turned like more to the dark side themselves. Um, now this has one of my favorite tropes from one of my all-time favorite books, which is Kings of the Wild where once brave warriors have to come together again to save the world. Truly sounds like your classic um, monster slaying fantasy far up my alley, so I am super excited for the release of this one and can't wait to dive into the world that Gareth Hanrahan will be building. It's got all my favorite things, elves and dwarves, ogres, dark prophecies, evil villains. I'm really looking forward to the old school fantasy feel. So I do have one more quick rapid fire news. Orbit did do a cover reveal recently of a new South America inspired fantasy called The Sun and the Void. Now not much has been revealed other than a short synopsis. It's filled with myth and folklore as a main character is dying and finds herself at her dark sorceress grandmother's whim. She finds herself at a manor house while there's some ancient god that speaks to her. It's very very vague but I did my best. This does seem to be a LGBTQ plus relationship focused story as it mentions to save the woman she loves. Rena will have to defy the gods themselves and become something she could have never imagined. So I just have no idea what to expect with this one. It almost has a gothic feel to it but also lush and vibrant. Whatever the case, this cover slays me every time and I can't wait to hear more about it as we get closer to the release date which won't be until July 2023 so next summer but it's coming it's on the way so that's all i got today in very recent and fresh book news so i definitely want to hear from you in the comments what you're thinking about everything i'm sure you have a lot of hot takes about cyberpunk um everyone does so let me know but also let's talk about the other stuff let's talk about andrea stewart's massive roadmap of book releases because she's definitely been a busy woman giving us new books every year it seems like and now we have more on the way it's ambitious but honestly i wouldn't have it any other way I love her books. Um, what do you think of Gareth Hanrahan's new trilogy? Do you like his previous one? Are you going to pick it up because it will uh, come out first before the other ones that I mentioned? 2023 is looking to be a very big year for book releases. In fact, I just talked about three other recent big announcements and I'll link that above and below for you if you want to check it out. But yeah, hit me up in the comments. I'll be down there talking with you guys. But if you want to yell at me directly about what I probably missed, you can find me on social media like Twitter and Instagram. But thank you for coming around and catching up on the exciting Orbit Books news. Um, I'm here every week, so until I meet again, happy reading.